What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below, we do daily videos here on the channel, and I'm coming out here with a 3am Clash Royale video. So, I saw that the Giant Poison got a huge nerf, but the one thing that I see people not talking enough about is the Elixir Collector is now 8, or it's now 6 Elixir and yields 8, and it used to be 5 and yields 7. So now, if a miner kills your pump, you're not out two elixir anymore, you're out three elixirs. So this is going to be a big deal. If you're going to play elixir collectors, you're going to have to really protect your collectors. So, yeah. Um, and, of course, the poison got the biggest nerf of all. It got uh, the 20% attack and movement speed debuff it gave is no longer there. So, it just kills the troops at whatever rate it kills them. But, it's still going to be it's still going to be one of the most used cards. It's now still valued, but it's not overly just ridiculous it used to be like worth like six elixir now it's worth the four elixir it should be worth so um now that they're gonna nerf this deck we might as well go ahead and play with it and do it see what we can do with it uh in the grand challenge from zero all the way through um let's go ahead and open this one we did really really bad in that challenge uh i was trying a new deck that i saw someone playing a three musketeers deck and I just got poisoned to death, so we're going to run the giant poison deck and see how we can do with it. Um, I might also try in the next episode, let me know what you guys think, the, the Golem Three Musketeers deck. Like, Golem Three Musketeers and a bunch of cheap cards and, uh, of course, Mega Minion. But we'll see what we can do with the giant poison here. And we're facing all Chinese players, so they're usually pretty good at this time of night. Um, not to be too stereotypical, but Chinese are really good at video games. All right, where's your miner at? I, I guess wrong. I took all that damage, unbelievable. This is how those decks actually can really, really beat giant poison decks. Like, we're already at a huge deficit, guys. I wish I could have just got back to my pump. That's why, like, um... You know what? I might even start just doing it. I might just start playing... Skeleton Army got its value there. I want that prince to get a charge off. That's okay, we're making him burn cards. Oh, that Mega Minion's got that power. See ya. Mega Minion's so good. Literally, guys, it goes in every deck, so if you're not playing Mega Minion, you're slipping. Now he's gotta play something. Good, good. Oh, he didn't play the miner. I mean, poison wasn't a terrible, terrible. I had no. I mean, that's minion horde's really good against this deck. If this, he's playing the zap bait, so he dropped the skeleton army, and um, that's this. That his deck's gonna be really good at the update. So he's got that princess. We got a pump down, so. So I used my zap, but look what I did. I gotta get back to the poison. This deck's so good, guys. I mean, you know how, you can see how good it is. I mean, I didn't know what to do, so I was going to drop a giant down, but man, these that bait decks are really tricky sometimes. Like, they can catch you, and when they do, it could be bad. Skeleton Army is going to make a comeback for 3 Elixir. I'm going to be playing it. I promise you at the update, at the update on um, whenever it is, I think it's in like 24 hours, I'll definitely be playing that Skeleton Army. It looks so good. So, uh, guys, if you know anyone that likes Clash Royale, Make sure you show on the channel because I'm trying to do as many tournaments uh, every day as I can. And I'm having a lot of fun doing them. 
So. I wonder if he's running up. I always try to turn um, counter pushes into pushes. Oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff on that tower. Yeah, get on that tower. Get on it real good. Get on it real good. That Mega Mini is so good. The Mega Mini, watch it'll kill that now. Even with that tower hitting it. Ooh, no it didn't. That's alright, it did good enough. Go ahead and hit me, homie. I have, fire spirits are really good. I'm not gonna let them go hit me like that. Um, I'm gonna cycle guards and play defense to put down another pump. Because guards and an ice spirit can actually do a little bit. I just want to play defense. I don't want to. Okay, we're forced to go on the attack now. I'll let those goblins do their thing. They're not gonna... They'll cause a couple hundred damage, but... They ain't taking down any towers. Fireball doesn't even kill it. I mean, I don't think that's a value fireball. That's a bad sack, though. I don't know why is that. That, that tower's done anyway. The deck's so strong, I mean, guys, this deck, this is like a late night deck too, like if you, like, I don't know why you put that giant there, but the, oh, it blocked the hog, that's hilarious, well, we know that now. This is one of those late night decks if you're, like, too tired to actually play good. I wish I could have got those guards in there. Watch, I'll keep that hog from getting my tower with an ice spirit and a mega minion. He might get one hit off though. Yeah, he got one hit. If I really didn't want him to get it, I could hit Zap. Look at two. I didn't even see I had two giants down. Three giants. I had three collectors down a minute ago, guys, so. I was gonna say I better get that three crown. Good times with the giant poison. I feel like a bully though. It's just literally like bully beat down, but I will lose. I get beat, you know, with the deck, with the giant poison. You can still lose it. One mistake, you lose. But like in the last video where I said it a million times, the war of the Mega Minion, the war of the Mega Minion, it is a war of the Mega Minion. You have to keep that thing alive. Because if you're, the enemy Mega Minion stays alive and yours dies, you're going to be in bad shape. Alright, well. I never thought about Lava Hound decks. What are we going to do against the Lava Hound deck? I think people say you attack the other lane. Mm. Well, that's good. It, I guess we did, because attacking the other lane, he had to spend four... Um, what? He had to spend seven elixir over there to stop that. And now we've got the pump down. We've got a Mega Minion pushing our giant. Let's go. And that was a good princess. Oh, it got off the swing. We're just going to let that die out. We'll just let her die out. Good, 1100 damage. And then we're going to Ice Spirit that. Poison. Zap all that. Guards that princess. Then he's gonna have to do something to counter the guards. So now he has to spend elixir. Uh, uh, oh wow. <laughs> We're almost gonna kill that. Oh man. I don't know if I agree with. We're gonna play that in the back since he's got that lava hound. We'll go ahead and let that lava hound do its thing. I don't. I honestly like counter pushing better. We got two pumps down. This is when this deck becomes so dirty because we're going to have four more extra elixir from these pumps because he's not attacking the pumps. That's why I lose with the Lava Hound when uh, people are using this deck. And I'm always losing with the Lava Hound. It's for that reason. Now this guy doesn't appear to be playing a Mega Minion, which is astonishing to me. There, okay, I guess he is playing a Mega Minion. 
Gott. We're going to start hitting the other lane. Um. Oh, I did that because I wanted to kill the princess, really. We just gotta win, I just have that. But we would've won if we had to go down the other lane anyway. We got two giants coming at him, so good times with the deck. Um, so if you guys want my advice, if you're facing a Lava Hound deck, try to keep the pump game up, even if you take a little damage at first, keep the pump game up and just pressure the other lane. Don't send your stuff all down his lane because he's just gonna distract your air troops. If you got a Musketeer or anything that hits air, He's just going to distract it with that Lava Hound and then kill your stuff on the ground. So, just keep it on the lane. So, we've done three videos. Um, we'll just keep going until we lose. I'm sure we'll lose eventually. Or, I'll tell you what, this will be the last one because I don't want to make this a 30-minute video. Some people don't like that. I know a lot of you do, but some people just don't like... They just don't like it. I hate burning an elixir like that. So, he's got a level 6 Musketeer. He's at 4 wins. So, he's a pretty decent player. Um... I hope that musketeer gets to the bridge before. Wow, that was so bad. And then I put that, oh my god, that was so bad. Oh, I guess, I panicked. I didn't have the right cards in order to deal with that. So, Really scary stuff, and I just placed that pump one tile to the left. I should have placed it one tile to the right. That's all right. Oh, he's got that Inferno... That Inferno Drizzy. Sorry, we have to get to the Inferno Dragon. Remember that. Really? We had to poison there just to kill the Inferno Dragon. Oh, he's not in the poison. <sighs> oh, I'm so mad. He wasn't in the poison, guys. He wasn't in the poison. We can't let that guard on there. I don't think... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Mega Minion, no. Oh, that princess is going to kill it. Mega Minion, please don't go. Oh, the Mega Minion went past the boys, and we're dead. We do have a chance, though. Got it. Now we gotta pump down he don't. We can kill all that with guards, I'm pretty sure. You know what? We killed more elixir than him there. So even though we lost our pump, I'm very, very happy with that trade. We even have enough to prop all oh, now. My Mega Minion went to the wrong side. I can't see the health because of the... Got him. Got him, got him, got him. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember that Teamwork makes dreamers, guys. We've been doing so much to affect the communities that we plan. And if I can get big in the Clash Royale community, too, I will do everything I can to voice my opinion to make this 
the best game it can be. It's such a good game. It's way different than Clash of, um, it's way better. It's different than Clash of Kings. It's better in some ways. It's not as good in other ways. I would love to see a Clash of Kings troops type game like Age of Empires, but with Clash Royale like gameplay style, that would be the coolest game ever. But thank you guys so much for watching 4-0 with the giant poison deck. Um, I'll probably play it until I lose and, um, I'll do another, I'll record it, but, um, maybe I'll just speed it up and put some music with it and show you guys. So thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.